Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. This one's going to be a little bit different. We have a box, as you can see right here, um, which has got something pretty special in it. Um, so before we get into this, leave a like, subscribe if you are new, would really appreciate it. And yeah, I've already taken a sneak peek inside. Obviously, I know what's in here, and you probably will know as well by the title. That was very loud. If we take a look, you can see there Xbox Elite Series 2. We've got some bubble wrap protection. And then we have the moment of truth. There we go, Xbox Elite Series 2. Chuck the box out of the way. Um, I'm actually buzzing to open this. Um, apologies if it is loud with all the rustling of the wrapping as well. But yeah, let's, let's, uh, I can't really like, I don't have to set up to like open this, like how professionals would open it with like the camera facing down onto the box and all that. But there we go. This is the outer box. So elite series two, very beautiful. Um, yeah, just a bunch of information. So obviously it tells you all what it includes as well. If you can see. There we go, so that's that. Also says it on the other side if you want it in a different language. If it wants to focus, which I don't think it will. No, there we go. Um, so, yeah, let's just get into this because I am absolutely buzzing. Um, that's if I can open it. I've left my keys downstairs. And there's one at the bottom as well. So, yeah, this isn't going to be like a normal unboxing. Um, well, like ones like if you watch unboxings all the time, then you'll know what they're like. But obviously, I'm a novice at this, and let's just do it like this. Um, you can see all my crappy stuff on the floor. So we have the Elite Series Two. Can we get this open? Chuck that over there. There we go. There is the old. glory in its case that feels a bit heavy actually let's put this to one side obviously that's the new um charging thing in there which you can actually see as well so that's quite nice so we'll pop that down there very quickly we'll uh take this out and we will see what is in here so we've got the cable what is this ah so this is the charging cable it looks very, very, very long. Um, obviously, it is a USB-C. If you can see that, I don't know if you can, but never mind. Um, I can't get that back in, so we'll just pop that to one side. We'll figure it out later on. And then, what is this? We have. Oh, so what have we got? Elite Series Two. Getting started. Elite Series 2, getting... What is this? Is this all just the same book? I think this is literally all just the same book. That one tells you how to turn it on. This one also tells you how to turn it on. So do we have a sticker? That is the question. Because, you know, stickers are the most important thing. Oh, we've actually got a Game Pass Ultimate as well. So, redeem code for 14 day free trial. So, I'm actually going to show you that code. So, if it wants to, please focus. I'm trying to give away something. There we go. There is the code for a 14 day trial Ultimate Pass. So, grab yourself that if you want it. Um, guarantee it's just we don't get a sticker, that's disappointing. I was looking forward to getting a sticker, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so yeah, that's all the stuff that was in there. I'm not too sure how that went, to be honest with you. Don't go like that, it did. I'll pop that back in there. That'll do, that'll do. Right. 
and we have the controller itself. Now you're going to get to see this before me, although I could look at the monitor. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. The smell as well. The smell is like oh, it's like that new leather smell. Um, let's just wipe this back up a little bit. So yeah, there it is. The new Xbox Elite Series Two with all the paddles on the back there as well. Very nice indeed. Um, what have we got? So this is the new charging thing, which has got like a bit of felt on it for some reason. So that's the charging dock. Very nice. And obviously you've got all the um, uh, you've got this little key which does the um, what's it called? These these the thumbsticks. That's the one. Um, so you've got two sets of very weird ones. They're short. But they're like dipped in quite a bit so they're very weird um we've got a long one have we only got one long one? Oh, that kind of sucks well to be fair i only play with one long one anyway we've got the two regular normal ones on there as well and then we've got one crappy like playstation one which will never get used so yeah oh and it already comes with the circular d-pad on there which is what i like as well so let's take a look at this then shall we the feel of it is mad already obviously you've got the um trigger stops at the back here so pop that down and this one's actually got uh another setting compared to what the old one had so obviously you've got your standard which is full up um like full down that's like halfway and then that's literally like you, t you tap and it's like pium pium. So I compared that to the full, and then obviously that compared to the second. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I am liking the feel of this. Um, obviously, your thumbsticks can come off, and there is. Let me try out this little tension tool. Well, that's probably not a good idea because I don't really know what I'm doing. So I don't know if it's going to pick it up, but inside here you can see just sort of that crosshead thing and um that allows this little tool which is like a little flathead screwdriver sort of thing um you can ah so you can turn it and it actually goes down inside again i don't know if it's going to show it or not probably not yeah, the camera don't want to work. Um, but it goes deep down inside, um, and then you twist it and it comes back up. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. And obviously, it's the same for the other one. I'll tell you what I'm going to do though. I'm going to take off that one. We're going to put the long analog stick on. So I have it set out like this. So, say you're playing Call of Duty, I have the movement one um, as the long one. Um, I will keep this D pad on. And I will take some of the paddles off as well because I will just want one on maybe. Um, but yeah, let's turn this bad boy on. That button feels very smooth as well. Um, let me just connect this to me as well and we'll be back. So there we go. It is all connected and it has popped up on my Xbox. As you can see, your controller needs an update. So we're going to update the controller. Um, I'm presuming I'm going to have to plug this in as well. Uh, keep it near, don't move it. Okay, let's up that now. Oh, so it does actually do it wirelessly. That's pretty cool. I'm loving the feel of this though as well. Compared to the old one, which I do have. I will show you my old one, but it's, it is like in bits. Uh -huh. So here is the old one that I had. Um, it kind of fell apart. Let me just switch back to this one. Yeah. It kind of fell apart. I did break the right analog stick. Um, it was very, very loose, and this uh, rear grip kind of fell off as well. So it kind of sucked. And I also did break the left analog stick on it as well. I'm pretty sure. So I bought new ones of them, um, and I tried fixing the analog stick, and I just couldn't get it 
done because it needs like welding or something so I gave up with that idea but yeah comparing comparing the new to the old like they're both let me see if I can do this they're both sort of like um they're the same shape obviously the old one has all this metal going across the top whereas this one's covered and the new one with these grips on the side compared to this one where it just had the grips on the back um it does feel a lot better and also the rubberized or not rubberized but the textured triggers as you can see there are very cool indeed so i will wait for this to finish uploading um not uploading not updating oh so the controller has been updated aha controller update there we go so if we go to xbox accessories it should then allow us to go in there we go xbox elite wireless series 2 so designed to meet the needs of today's most passionate gamers the xbox wireless the xbox elite wireless controller series 2 puts exceptional performance customization and durability <clears throat> i can't talk where it matters most in your hands so Optimized for you. So using this app, you can customize your controller, remap buttons and paddles, change trigger settings and thumbstick sensitivity curves, modify brave, uh, vibration intensity and adjust, adjust the Xbox button brightness. Yeah, it is a bit dull to be fair at the moment. Um, so yeah, pardon me. So more ways to customize remap buttons and paddles to system commands such as record that or take a screenshot. Oh, that's a new one. Um, assign a button or paddle to act as a shift key to enable alternate alternative inputs for each other for each of the other buttons. I'm really bad at reading stuff for some reason. Um, so switch it up. So create and store over 250 custom profiles in the cloud. Save up to three of those on the controller. As you can see, that is what this. Uh, let me just switch back to this one. That is what this is. So if I press this button here, you can see it goes into two and then it goes into three, but we're going to leave it on the first one for now. Um, so yeah, you can do that and you can, uh, like that's mad that you can save up to 250 on the cloud. That is ridiculous. Um, so yeah, save up to three of those profiles on your controller and switch between, it, between them on the fly with the profile button. Very nice. Um, let me switch back to this one. So the default profile. So I hold down the profile button to switch to the default default profile. All the profile lights will turn off. This maps all buttons to the default input and disables paddles. Uh, useful if you're putting down the controller or forgot or forget what your buttons are well remapped to. I mean that's fair enough. But then you could just go back into the programming and switch it up that way. So let's begin. Get started by giving your controller a name. We'll leave the rest to you. Give your controller a name. Hey. Let's do it. I'm going to call it the beast. The beast. Boom. So, let's configure this one. Uh, we are signed into that account. Um, so, I can copy. Ah, oh, that's good. So it saved my copies of the Elite Series 1 controller. So we could copy them over, but I'm not going to. I'm going to change the first one. If it lets me. New profile. Um, so let's do... Oh. So this one's going to be for Call of Duty. Um, so obviously I kind of want everything to be the same, but I want this paddle really to be for the jumping. Um, left stick, right stick, triggers, vibration. Right, so what's this one? So this is P4. So paddle 4 is this one which i want to be for a and a shift button i don't know what a shift button means so we're just going to keep that to a so now does it not work 
See, that one was A, but no, that, I can't be adding that. Um, so I think I'll keep it as that. I don't really need to change anything for now, I don't think. Um, I'll probably take this paddle off as well, to be fair. Let's pop that one back in there. So obviously you've got the... Um, Ooh. So what's this say? Use your D-pad to adjust your stick. Move the stick around to preview your adjustment. So I'm not going to mess around with any of this because I don't really understand it. Um, but yeah, triggers. I'll see that's the full. So if you can see, this is the third setting where you just literally tap. And look at that. That does the full. That does the full click basically so hopefully shooting and all that should be a lot better on call of duty the vibration is very loud that's mad the vibration is mad in there and the brightness actually is all the way up which i don't know if you can see oh it kind of looks bright there but in real life it looks pretty dull i'm not gonna lie so does it actually change on here I'm not going to lie, I can't notice the difference. Um, so what's that left stick, right stick? So the right stick, let me check. So with this little tool, if I was to pop this like that, and then pop my stick back on, I don't know if that feels different or not. It's really weird. Obviously, I'm not like a pro, so I don't know what this actually. Oh, that's a lot tighter. Yeah, so I reckon like for racing games, such as like Forza and all that, um, having it like that will be a lot better because it feels a lot tighter. Yeah, like that feels loose. Like it feels a lot tighter than when you're, um, so you can, um, you'll be able to sort of like maneuver your car with more control, I would say. Um, so let's go ahead and put that on slot one. So number one will be Call of Duty, and I tell you what, let's let's jump into some Call of Duty. I'll jump into a game, um, and we'll see what we can do. So yeah, I will be back. Right, so let's go. Let's go into a game of Kill Confirm. Um, I was going to do ground war, but I'm not really feeling it. Um, so as you can see there, we press the little trigger. Boom, that does a very nice and comfortable indeed. Um, I think we're good for setup. I don't know if I like this. Thermal target. Yeah, no, we ain't having thermal. We'll just leave it out. Oh, uh, it would be Piccadilly, wouldn't it? I absolutely hate this map. Can't, uh, cannot stand it with a passion. Don't know about anyone else. But here we go. So we bust out the M4A1. Put both of the trigger locks down. Um, I also found out as well that if you double tap... Oh, that feels quick. That feels quick. But yeah, also if you double tap your um, sprint button. The shooting, like the triggers, feel really good. Dash a couple of nades out there. Let me make sure I've reloaded this. I suppose I could map a button for the um, for reloading. 
So map it for X, that could be pretty good. Ah, uh, I won't pay attention. But well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll run around this other side. Because they all seem to be camping at the spawn. We have an unsuspecting victim. Oh, how did that not kill him? I don't know how the first um, the first shotgun bullet did not kill both of them, or at least one of them. That sucks. So we know they're back there. They're all sort of like camping at the spawn. Okay, where did he shoot me from? Wait, what? Oh, I said it in there. Okay, I thought that was the dude on our team shooting at him, but apparently not. That seems a bit mad. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll head down here. We'll head over to. Maybe not. I was going to say we'll head over to the arcade and kill both of them, but you know. Apparently not. But why do people not collect tax? Stash a nade over there. Let's go. Let's reload. Kind of want to push out here. I kind of don't. Got one with the nade. One there. Yeah, see, they're all pushing left. Ah, did he get me? Let's be honest. Oh, he literally came right up to me. Right, but it's all good. We got a care package, we called this in. But yeah, the triggers feel good. I I might change the aiming one, just so it's a bit more. But it feels good. It was very good. So what have we got? We've got a sentry gun. I know exactly where I want to put that. I want to place it like right here. Okay, what's just happened to me, monitor? Then? What was that all about? I really don't understand how I didn't shoot them. Have we only got 23 tags as well? Tfue? I'm playing with Tfue. No way. That can't be him shortly, it's just got to be some random. I'll tell you what we're going to do.
Oh, no way did I not get both of them. They literally just kept... We've pressured them so far to the back, it's ridiculous. Are you going to shoot them? There we go. I mean, this hasn't really been the best of games to to show off what the controller can do, but, you know, it's all good. It feels very good. It feels... It's, I don't think it's as heavy as the last one. But, yeah, feels good. Play of the game. Tango Fant. Absolutely wrecking stuff. Oh, this is where he kills me. He killed me a bit after that. So, 11 kills, 8 deaths. Not very good. 9 confirms, 2 denies. Pretty decent though. The controller feels it feels good. It looks good. It's just it was worth the money. And yeah, um, I'm now broke. So subscribe would really appreciate it. And yeah, if you can, well, obviously if you can afford it. If you can't, then like obviously don't worry about it. Maybe ask it, ask for it for Christmas or something. But it is a very very good controller. Um, but yeah, there's, there's, it's literally like. There's so much you can do with it. It just feels so good. So yeah, I'm going to smash out Call of Duty for the rest of the day, I think, with this one. And we'll see what it's like. So yeah, that's going to be all. So thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Apologies if it weren't up to scratch with like all the mad unboxing and reviews that you normally watch. But, you know, never done anything like this before. Just thought I'd show it off a little bit. Um, just because it's so nice, pretty much. But yeah, that's going to bring an end. So thank you all for watching. Subscribe. And until next time, take care.